Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I am bringing you today is called Sunday Afternoon. It's a 5 by 7 and it is also a redo. Yes, well, you're getting a redo, but I think you'll like it. I think you will like this because, um, I have the redone painting hanging up in the shop I'm working at now, and it just looks great there. It's all gold and stuff. So this is one of those cases where I had done the original in 2014. I can maybe even give you the month. February, looks like. And uh, not a bad little painting. As, as a matter of fact, I have done uh, did a larger version, which I think I sold. Um, but uh, this painting, you know, was in a in a box uh, for you know for for something years, and uh, it's actually not its fault since I was very prolific in 2014. I produced hundreds of five by sevens, so I sold a heck of a lot of them. But a lot of them never even went on display. I just you know, and even to this day, I'd say I'm sort of um, guilty of the sin of momentum, I guess is how I'd put it. It's not so much that I'm into being prolific, it's that I I know the the best way to avoid hitting some kind of slump or real downward spiral with your art is just to keep doing art all the time. And this way, um, in fact, oh, I can give you a for instance, uh, um, Today is Monday. It's my day off, actually, uh, July 22nd, and um, I did a painting yesterday which completely bombed. But the day before, I did a painting. It was of this uh, lovely um, Polynesian gal, and it's honestly one of the best things I've done to this date in my life. It it came together. I was using. Oh, actually, let me take a break here. Please like, comment, and share this video. Comment on. Nice comments only, please. Um, a thumbs up, a thank you, uh, anything like that. Any engagement that you can muster is good for the YouTube robot because it sees engagement and it thinks of people like this video. This video is good. I will show this video to perspective viewers they will enjoy it kind of like that so if you put your little quarter like comment into the YouTube robot out will come a recommendation somewhere I'm, I'm guessing and we owe it to ourselves to try and promote this channel because we love it right anyway getting back to what I was talking about so um, Saturday I did a really really good little painting it was a strong drawing I had a good feeling. I was actually quite... I had a lot of trepidation though because I hadn't really... It was pulling together a lot of things I knew and that I tried all together in one painting for the first time and it ended up really working great and um, it wasn't completely struggle free but I uh, the struggles weren't weren't that bad and I managed to pull off a very very nice little um, painting and um, so much so that I've used put it as the I took a photo a picture of it with my phone and I I made it my little background on my home screen that's how stoked I was okay fast forward to Sunday um, I had another drawing done of another like Polynesian type girl and this one had some problems with the uh, it would have been her left eye um, I thought uh, I kept I kept trying to fix it. I kept struggling with it. Then I thought, well, well maybe it'll all be able to fix it when I come in with the because it was all done with black on a toned board. Maybe I'll be able to fix it when I come in with the uh, the paint and uh, and God knows I tried. Uh, I even eventually painted the whole thing out, thinking, oh, I could just let this dry and draw that eye on again. And then, you know what I did is I went and I. I threw it in the dumpster and um, yeah it, it didn't work out and I had a feeling to be honest the drawing there was a problem and there were some things I'd done to composite uh, things in my reference too that I 
I, I thought I could make I could make work, but <coughs> they were bothering me as well. So the whole thing added up to um, bad time. But maybe you'll notice how I'm spending a lot more time talking about the failure than the success. I think that's uh, at least it's natural for me, because I think we learn more from our failures, right? You know, the success is half the time. Uh, you know, it's it's based on things you know how to do and experience, but also maybe you're you're catching a bit of an updraft. You're catching the winds behind your back, so to speak. So, anyway, um, getting back to my point, which you know I will. You 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 could just relax. I always I always get back to it. My point about momentum, okay, not such a big deal that this painting didn't go so well yesterday because not only do I have another drawing ready to go uh, to be executed and paint, but it's a strong drawing and I'm still buzzing pretty good from my initial success. So uh, this is my point. You're going to have, you're going to have successes and failures, not usually like one day a real high and the next day something so bad that I feel I have to throw it away. That almost never happens, but my system that I've I've used to support myself and my art um, uh, can handle it, you know. I can basically just keep working and keep moving and one of the reasons for this is because I'm always um, moving forward. I, I'm a big believer in the power of momentum to solve 90% of your artistic problems and by that I don't mean just keep working on something one thing until it's you know nobody can stand it you can't stand it and you want to shoot yourself or something I mean keep a lot of things going and uh, work on one thing one day and another thing the next day because every painting is uh, different and uh, presents different challenges and things so uh, I know you probably want to hear about the painting we're looking at, but this was done in 2014, and it's, you know, it's pretty competent. I would criticize it with the re relationship of how far away the tree is from the top of the painting. I did that a heck of a lot in 2014. It took me a while, and I'd be willing to bet you one of the first things you're going to see me do is make that tree bigger probably quite a bit bigger I think but uh, the the central composition is strong and it's based on a scene not that far from where I live where there's like these very interesting volcanic rocks and uh, oh yeah here we are we fast forwarded four years later and I'm starting with yellow yellow glaze I probably don't even know what I'm doing uh, when I put in that yellow glaze I just think I might have been thinking oh yeah tonalist yellow tobacco stain but the second I put that real strong orangey red up in the top, we know what I'm doing. I'm doing sunset colors big time. Yeah, it looks like I'm talking to somebody as I'm painting. Uh, there's not as much of that going on now um, in the new studio. I, I interact with a lot more people, but um, it's, since it's not just my studio and not just a gallery, a heck of a lot of my interactions are based around antiques and things like that. And uh, that's not so bad actually it's pretty interesting to see the things people are into and uh, yeah the change in studio has forced me to um, <clears throat> maybe evaluate uh, a bunch of things like uh, you know I have many many paintings as a matter of fact this painting I'll pop it in my store and I see how much bigger I'm drinking that tree so much better yeah I'll put my store and uh, you know if you want to support this channel you want to help me out and you want uh, something that's going to make your life totally awesome uh, heck an original painting will do that if you're a painter you already know it and in some ways you guys uh, that are painters you already have a lot of paintings around but you don't have one of mine just think of the uh, just think of the positive influence you'll think of all my words of wisdom <laughs> every time you look at it yeah anyway it's going to be in the store if you want to help me out if you want to help yourself out go buy it it'll be priced real fair i keep my prices in my store fair because it's just me and you man no uh no one in the middle you know i can't drop them down too far because galleries don't like that plus you know they're valuable uh it's just a matter of getting them to the right parties as as far as the value game but um uh, I wish I could uh, 
flash you an image of this uh, gal that I painted um, and I honestly this channel has been so directed in in one in in the landscape direction that I hesitate to uh, break that uh, chain but on the other hand like I started a channel that was like a nude uh, um, study channel I think I have like 25 members there and it's not their fault because I've only put three videos up and uh, um, I only yeah, I had maybe done last year between last year and early part of this year about nine or ten nude studies but uh, these Polynesian girls are more focused they're like definitely not just studies even though they're small and um, yeah I don't know uh, well hey you tell you what you can help me out if you're interested and you're curious uh, what I'm doing let me know in the comments you know what you feel because you know I do this I do this uh, for you I put these videos up for you I don't actually I could watch them <laughs> any time to be honest mostly I don't even know if I've ever watched this video that we're watching right now before but so uh, talking about this video we did we started with the extreme glazing uh, yellows and reds in the top and we're still keeping the greens although um, socking. I wouldn't be surprised if I go in and yellow up that green in the distance a bit. I think I do, because, uh, like I say, I live with this painting all the time. But, uh, either way, I've knocked it back with some serious, like, scumble action. And, um, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a, a clever little composition. And it's a nice little painting. I look at it every day, because it's across from the, uh, this giant antique, uh, cash register, um, which is pretty cool, yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're new to the redos, then uh, I will uh, go ahead and, and point out that, you know, you saw me create the original painting, and that was all in one pass. This is going to be all in a second pass. They're about equal, actually, in length. Uh, maybe that first pass was a bit longer, but... Um, uh, it was hard for me to tell because I always archive my videos sped up a little bit. I, I start with the extreme glazing. I kind of get lost. I kind of don't know what I'm going to do. And that is really exciting. And it brings out like a more creative approach to my painting. And that's one of the reasons I like to do the redos. And it's a great argument if you're uh, sitting on a... You know, hopefully if you're a painter you should be... You should have boxes of paintings around, and maybe a lot of them just aren't that great. But this is something you can do with those paintings. You can you can just glaze them with some strong color and say, "Holy cow! What do I do now?" You'll get something unexpected, and uh, that's really exciting. Uh, I don't often shoot for that um, with a new painting. I'm not really that kind of painter, but it's definitely a part of my process when it comes to revisiting and redoing paintings. And uh, yeah, I think this works real well. In fact, that sky, which was sort of boring, you know, this is interesting what's going on now. It has a interesting feeling and interesting quality and making that tree bigger. Geez, if I'd done nothing else, that improved it dramatically. And uh, that was just experience. This is one reason why I'm saying, you know, I had to do hundreds of paintings, uh, thousands even, before it dawned on me that the the ratio between where the top of the tree is and where the top of the board is is absolutely one of the most critical aspects of your of your painting you either need to be pretty close to it in some ways it needs to feel right i guess is what i'm saying you know that's it's a, it's a, it's something that comes from experience but you saw me fix this painting up before your very eyes just with that and then we have a lot more interest now, a lot more color, a lot more, it's a much bolder, more extreme statement. Um, and yet, at the same time, it has a, a relaxing tonalist quality. So that's good too. Anyway, I can see we're getting pretty close to the end here. Thank you for joining me today, and uh, thank you for listening to The Rambling. Don't forget to like the video, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, you got this far, man. What are you waiting for? Because this is the home of uh, toneless painting demonstrations, man. You're going to get a lot here of that, if you like it. I'll be back real soon with another video. Very soon. And meanwhile, please, do me a favor. 
take good care of yourself and all your loved ones even your non loved ones take care of everyone to the best of your ability and uh, while you're doing it please stay out of trouble <laughs>